Adventure It, that's the theme for Teen Read Week 2011. What do you think that means? On April 16, 2011, Greene County Middle School was devastated by a tornado. Last week, I visited the school to deliver some books that our school donated to their library. As I traveled down the country roads of Greene County, everything looked fine until I turned the corner onto Middle School Drive. That's when I saw the devastation. It was like turning onto a war zone. This is a view of the front of the school. The demolition has begun, but you can imagine the destruction. Here is a closer view of the front of the school. This is a view of the damage from a helicopter after the storm. The front of the school is there on the circle drive. The wing in the foreground is the sixth grade wing. Next to it is the seventh grade wing and then the eighth grade wing. On the far right is the gymnasium. This is a view at the front of the school right after the tornado, before the demolition began. In this picture you see the student lockers with a welcome sign above and the damage from the tornado. This is a view from the outside of the school library media center. The windows were completely destroyed. This picture was taken inside the Library Media Center looking through the blown out windows. Here's another view looking out through the damaged windows. And yet another view of the damage inside the Library Media Center. Notice that the books are still on the cart waiting to be shelved. This is a picture of the back side of the, of the gymnasium. You can see the blue insulation still clinging to one of the exterior walls. Notice the portion of the roof that is sticking up. The bricks were lifted right up from the rooftop. The cafeteria was damaged too. Two walls were completely blown away, leaving chairs and tables strewn about the room. This is one of the classrooms that was destroyed. Notice the bulletin board titled, Missing Work? Would you call that irony? As Greene County Middle School begins to heal, one big step is moving into their new temporary school. The students began this school year in modular units. These boxes have been in storage at Greene County High School waiting to be moved into the new temporary middle school. Now they will be unpacked in what will be the new school library media center for about the next two years. Mrs. Bright and her assistant Miss Yvette worked hard to get the new library ready for the nearly 800 students who would be enrolled at Greene County Middle School this year. Some of the shelves had to be cut in half in order to fit in the smaller facility. Thankfully, many of the tables and chairs survived the tornado. In time, the new library was open and ready for students. Fortunately, Mrs. Bright was able to salvage enough books to set up a suitable library. Many of the books were dirty and had to be cleaned. On the morning I visited Greene County Middle School, four sixth graders at Newport Middle School helped me carry the books to my car.
when I got to Greene County Middle School, I had the pleasure of meeting several staff members and these fine young men who helped me unload the books. You can see in the background some of the mobile units that are now classrooms for the students at Greene County Middle School. Their new library is also a mobile unit. This event was a bit of a class reunion for me and Mrs. Bright. We were classmates in graduate school at East Carolina University. It was so nice to know that not only were we helping the students at Greene County Middle School, but I was also helping a fellow classmate. In this picture, I'm showing Mrs. Bright the books our school donated and the cards Ms. Lucasina's, Ms. Lucasina's class made. Through it all, Mrs. Bright has been very upbeat and positive. She helped me to realize that we can face life's problems if we keep a positive attitude. She also helped me remember that what's really important is the people we love. Books and buildings can be replaced, but people cannot. Another bit of irony in this whole story is that through it all, this poster about reading survived and stood out in all of the debris. Happy Teen Read Week, everyone, and whatever it is, picture it.